Hi, I'm Kate Smith. I'm a Chartered Legal Executive at Clapham & College Solicitors in our litigation department. I deal with landlord and tenant law as amongst other areas and I wanted to take the opportunity today to briefly update you in relation to the changes following COVID-19 and to let you know that myself and my team are still here should you have any queries or concerns. With around 5 million households, that's approximately 21% of the population in rented accommodation, tenants will no doubt be concerned about their security in the following months. Likewise, landlords who rely on rent as their main source of income will also have concerns. In response, the government have brought into effect emergency legislation under the Coronavirus Act 2020. The key points are that landlords wishing to seek possession of the property now have to give a minimum of three months notice. Ordinarily, landlords uh, wishing to seek possession of property where the tenant, for example, is in rent arrears, would give a minimum notice period of two weeks and two months where it's a Section 21 notice. In addition, all possession proceedings under Part 55 of the Civil Procedure Rules will be stayed for 90 days after the 27th of March. This includes enforcement and possession claims. This provides tenants with much needed relief, but where does it leave landlords? Landlords will undoubtedly be wondering what options they have. Well, if the property is mortgaged, the landlords can ask their lender for a three-month mortgage payment holiday. Landlords will need to self-certify that their tenants are in financial difficulty as a result of COVID-19. The best thing you can do is speak to your lender if you have any problems and see how they can help you. Um, the government expects that if the landlords are granted that three month mortgage holiday, they pass on the relief and benefits to the tenant. Um, whilst this provides much needed relief for landlords, what about those whose properties are unmortgaged um, and actually rely on the rent for their main source of income? Well, at the moment, the emergency legislation does very much tie their hands, but the best practical advice is to keep in touch with your tenants um, try and be flexible in terms of the, the rent payment um, and also perhaps try and agree some sort of plan going forward to repay that later on this year. Um, sometimes uh, tenants may be entitled to universal credit if they're unemployed um, or out of work at present, so it might be worth suggesting to them that they contact their local council to assist them. Finally, it's important to note that even if your tenant isn't paying rent, as a landlord, you're still obligated to repair the property and keep it safe for your tenant. As usual, prior notice should be given in accordance with the tenancy agreement and any repairs that are undertaken should be carefully considered in relation to the safety of the tenants and the workmen alike. There will no doubt be further issues arising over the following months during this uh, period and also the knock-on effect on landlords and tenants, both residential and commercial and businesses alike. If there's any queries whatsoever that we can help with, please get in touch with us. We're still very much open for business and happy to help where we can. Thank you for listening and please take care during this difficult time. Thanks.